Now we're going to go over the cascara pattern on the timbal. Cascara means peel. Now, from what I understand, it comes from the motion of peeling, like if you're peeling a potato, an orange. So the cascara pattern, you take your, your stick, your timbal stick, and you're going to hit against the metal shell with a peeling motion. And then that's where the cascara sound, the cascara name comes from. Now we're going to go over the cascara pattern, which the cascara pattern is used in parts of the arrangement. So the arranger would arrange a tune and it has changes and it, you know, has movement. So you would go from cascara to bell and then maybe back to cascara, maybe back up to bell, depending on the arranger. So the cascara pattern will go like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now, again, I played the cascara pattern. Don't know if you notice that the whole pattern is two bars long. Again. Because why? Because clave is a two bar phrase. So every pattern, every pattern that we play on Latin instruments are going to be two bars long, the whole phrase, because we play on palabra. So there you have your two, three, song, cascara. Now we're going to discuss the cha-cha bell. The cha-cha is normally, again, played in what we call the cha-cha, the song of tuno also in Wajira, and in more of a modern uh, era now where we call creando, which means creating. So in some of the arrangements in salsa and Latin jazz, and so you would get a section where it's open to just create. And a lot of the timbaleros we use cha-cha, that we use mambo, that we use the block. But again, the cha-cha is the smaller bell. And normally you would play it just on the open part of the mouth of the bell. Just to get your cha-cha sound. And it goes something like this. And normally you would play just quarter notes. And it goes like this. And one, two, three. song, your guajira, um, but you would normally play something timbaleros would uh, add a little bit of the high part. But the important part is keeping that time on the quarter note, boom, two, three, four, one, two, three, Now, we're going to go over the mambo bell. Again, the mambo bell is part of the arrangement where you go back and forth from cascara to mambo bell. And normally, the mambo bell would introduce the bongo bell before it comes in. Normally, it's maybe one, maybe two bars. It depends on the arranger. So, um, the mambo bell will start first and then the bongo bell will join the arrangement. So, to introduce the mambo bell somewhat like the bongo bell also has the two tones. The bigger part will be the lower 
and the taper part will be the higher tone. Now on the mambo bell for the timbal, you normally focus on the midsection of the bell, which you know you would join with the bongo bell. So you would play the midsection here. Now I'm gonna play the mambo bell pattern on two three cloud, two three song cloud. And it goes something like this. One, two, and one, two, three, up. Now, I'm going to do a small demonstration of all the techniques and all the tones that we went over on the Dimbali. And it goes a little something like this. And one, two, one, two, three, four. 